I'm not following what you're asking. Say, if for example, on our car, mm -hmm. um, on our drop down, we have all the models listed. Right. Say we wanted to insert a dummy one that said select all models. Right. Is there a way we could do that with the parameterized where clause? Yes. <laughs> and I tried to look it up on the internet and they gave some solutions that people said should work, but they work in MySQL and not access apparently. Let's let's go and let's answer that question. Let's go and create a new page. That's good because we have about ten minutes left. I was gonna give you guys a break and and, and ten minutes early, but I'm trying to get back that first 10 minutes I lost it. Ah, I see. All right, let's make a new page. Let's make a category list page that... Trust me, you're all going to benefit from this. Let's create a drop-down that shows our list of categories. So there's my drop-down list. There is... my data source, data source, and I'll configure that, and okay, let's put a grid view on it now, grid view, data source, And I'll say select poll ID, category ID, question, where poll ID equals form control. The form field is <laughs> drop down list one. associate these with their appropriate data source. So choose data source. That's SQL data source 1. Field to display is the category name. The data field for the drop down list is category ID. All right. Choose data source. SQL data source 1. All right. So now we go and run this guy. and we get the wrong page. We go run it again with the right page. And what's wrong? Why isn't it working? You're looking at two different data sources. No, that's not why. Because I'm not posting back to the server. Alright. Now it's interesting why it doesn't come up. Oh! I know what I'm doing. I don't want where poll ID equals a value from the drop down. I want where category ID equals a value from the drop down. All right. So notice. 
notice it did the first one and it did the first query because the first one on the list was populated with technology and therefore did a query to pull all those other ones up. All right. Now, that's not good because what if people don't want technology and what if that query to pull up technology was expensive? Expensive in terms of server time. why it doesn't work the first time through in a minute here. All right. Actually, let's look at that now. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the sequence that I put these things in. That's a good one. We'll have to come, we'll have to come back to that later. Um, how do I put a dummy value in there? How I put a dummy value in the select. And what you would do is do this. Go into the code behind file and say drop down list one dot items dot add So now when you run it, did I add a 
the end of the list. I think in your drop down list control, there's an option where you have to select to append. Uh, append your uh, categories to static items or something like that. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll get this one solved and I'll, I'll post it rather than watch I got it. it. When I tried it, I got it to where I could put the dummy right. value in. I just couldn't get it to display everything. Oh, to display everything. Right. A few people said that I, that I should set the value of it equal to whatever the, the yeah. category name was so that in my SQL statement, No, it would look for the it would look for the string category name. Okay. Well, uh, I wasn't using it as a string, but I see what you're saying. The right. Um, how could you do that? A few people I talked to at work said I could do it with dynamic SQL, but I didn't want to get that deep into it just to have everything show. Yeah, you could probably. You could probably tack a WHERE clause in. Um, I'll, I'll play with that as well. All right, I'll, I'll, do it a, I'll do it a couple different ways, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play with that as well. All right. The one that I submitted for Tuesday, mm -hmm. I stumbled across a site that showed me how to insert a W value. Mm -hmm. I, I know it's a little different approach than what you were approaching there. Okay. Feel free to post stuff like that to the uh, to the uh, discussion forum. 